Today we are going to continue our discussion on ancillary equipment around sewage sludge drying with the vapor treatment system. The first part of the vapor treatment system is the condenser system. And different types of condensers can be used, including barometric, shell and tube, packed media, cross flow, and some dryers do not use condensers at all. The dryer will dictate the type of condenser that will be used. Also, some systems have a higher operation and maintenance requirement than others. Finally, wastewater production can vary in concentration and volume depending on the type of condenser selected. After condensation, the vapor will head to the odor control system. Various types include wet scrubbers, biological filters, carbon filters, and thermal oxidizers. It's important to consider the cost of these systems as well as their operation and maintenance schedule. And finally, you have to consider air permitting and contaminants that require treatment and the selection of your design. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at the contact information provided. Also, please like, follow, and subscribe to our social media.